Hey guys, this is Marie, and I'm back with another video, and this video is going to be huge Amazon haul. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking a little bit about everything that I have ordered on Amazon. So here we go. So as you guys can see here, this is going to be a huge and fun video because I have ordered a lots of stuff for the hermit crabs. There is going to be two non-related hermit crab items. One is going to be for the beta fish and the other one is going to be for the white cloud fish. But everything else is going to be for the hermit crabs. And I'm very excited because I've been waiting almost two weeks for everything to come in and get delivered. But there is actually one item that I'm still missing. It was supposed to come yesterday, but it got delayed. And I'm not sure when it's going to come in. So the next time I make a hermit crab video, I'll just go ahead and show you guys what the item was. But everything else came in and I'm just excited to just open everything and just show you guys what I picked up for the hermit crabs. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now as you guys can see, I have already opened all the boxes and the packages so it will be easier for me just to get everything out and show you guys. So the very first box is going to be a bigger box and, and this is everything that I have ordered in this box. So the very first thing I have ordered was for the beta fish and this is going to be for Mo um, tank. And I have ordered a aquarium plastic plant. And yes, this is a plastic plant, but it is very soft and silky and it's not pointy at all. And I thought this would look great for him. When I saw this plant on Amazon, I absolutely loved it because I was looking for a nice, tall and poofy plant. And this was perfect when they showed the picture of the plant. And as you guys know, I'm trying to stay with the natural theme. So anything that's green and brown, I try to stick with. So this is okay with a little, little bit of hint of yellow. But other than that, I absolutely love it. And it is so cute. And I just love it. And I hope Mo's going to love it too. And this is what it looks like. And I'll go ahead and pause the video for one second. And I'll just take it out of the plastic so you guys can see more up close what it actually looks like. Alright guys, I took it out of the plastic and this is what it looks like outside of the plastic. So it's very tall and poofy and I absolutely love it. It is so cute. And I think it's going to look so much, it's going to look so good inside of his tank. But this is what it looks like and it's on a nice sturdy black stand. Uh, stand. And then this is what the back of it looks like. But I absolutely love it and it's perfect. So I can't wait to show you guys in a future uh, beta fish video of what it looks like inside of the tank. But that is the very first item that I have picked up on Amazon. And this item was only $8.99. So that's a good price for this tall uh, plastic plant. And like I said, it's plastic but it's very soft and it's not pointy at all so it's not going to hurt him. So the next item I picked up for the Hermit Crafts is this new... Um, heat mat. I have one that I've had on my 20 gallon tank for almost I think two years and when I first got that one it was actually on my 20 gallon tall tank and I took it off and put it on my 20 gallon long tank when I got that one and upgraded the tank for the hermit crabs. It is starting to peel off and not stick as good. So I thought it was time to actually take that one off and get a brand new one for that um, side. So that is what this looks like. It is a heat mat, aquarium heater mat. And this one is a medium size and is good for a 30 to 40 gallon. Um, this is a 16 watt and this is what I have always used for my hermit crab tanks. I have one on each side of my tank. I have one on the left side and one on the right side. So they have plenty of heat going through their tank and it keeps them nice and warm. But that is what this looks like. And I absolutely love this heater. I have had no problems at all for having it for so long. And also when I took it off my 20 gallon tall tank and put it on my 20 gallon long, it was actually able to still stick and hold up for another year. So I was really surprised how long it had lasted, you know, this long. But I absolutely love it. And um, I think it came out of, the usage came out really well. So over three years I've had it. And I think that's pretty good for um, this size of heater mat. 
Now this price was actually $24.99, so this is the most expensive heater I have seen on Amazon. But it is actually worth $24. And like I said, it lasted almost three years, almost maybe three and a half years. It depends on if you guys are going to take it off your first tank and put it on to another tank. But if you're not going to touch it and just put it on one tank, I think it will actually last longer. But I can actually figure out when I put this one on the, t the new tank, or when I put this on the 20 gallon tank, I'll let you guys know how long it will actually last. But other than that, this is what it looks like, and I absolutely love this brand and this heat mat. I think I have never used any other one but this one, and I absolutely love it. And this is what it looks like on the back of the box. You can actually put it underneath your tank, or you can put it on the side. And I just usually put mine on the side, but I never had tried it underneath it. But it says you can do that, so that's pretty cool. And then this is just a uh, little instructions for like reptile species but other than that i absolutely love this mat and i can't wait to go ahead and put this on for the hermit crabs so that is the next item i have picked up and the next item in this bag is going to be shells for the hermit crabs my hermit crabs absolutely need more shells especially the one that is going to be um, still in the painted shell. Um, Mini, my Ecuadorian hermit crab, is actually in a painted shell, and she's been in it since I've gotten her, and she has not taken the chance to get into another shell and change into another shell. So I figured I'll go ahead and order some more bigger shells for her to see if maybe she likes these better than the ones that are already in there. So this is a six pack of medium hermit crab shells and these are all natural shells there is no painted or anything on them they are completely natural and it looks like there's actually sand inside of it so it looks like they probably just picked these off the beach and patch put them in the package and sent them off so that's pretty cool that you actually got some sand to go with the shells but that's what these look like so I'm going to go ahead and open these and then I'll go ahead and show you guys a little closer what they look like. Alright guys, I am back and I took all the shells outside of the bag. So this is what they look like up close. These are absolutely so cute and adorable and I just love them. They are so natural um, shells and I just absolutely love them. This is what they look like up close. These are just so pretty and natural, and I can't wait to hopefully one of my hermit crabs will go into them. And there's different sizes. I think this looks like the biggest size. So that's the first one. And then you got this one. This is a good size. I think many will like that. And then you got this looks like a medium size one. So that's what that looks like. And then I think this is the smallest one out of all of them. These are very pretty. And then here's the next one. This looks like a small one too. And then the last one, I think this is like a medium sized one too. But these are so pretty and natural. You can tell that these look like they just came off straight off the beach because they had sand inside of the, the bag. So it looks like they just went and picked them off straight off the beach and just put them in the package and sent them off to me. So that is pretty cool. So I hope my hermit crabs like these, and especially Minnie, I hope she picks one of these and gets out of that painted shell. But that is what these look like. So we're going to go ahead and take these out, and then we'll move on to the next box. I'll go ahead and move this box out of the way. Alright, so moving on to the next box. This is a little bit smaller, and this only has about three items in it. So the next thing is going to be for the white cloudfish, and this is the Omega-1 Freshwater Flakes, and this is what I feed my white cloudfish, on my Feed'em Flakes, and this is a good brand. I absolutely love Omega-1, and I absolutely love it. I have gotten the smaller um, container at Petco, but I was getting very low, so I figured since I was on Amazon to see how much it would be for me to order it on Amazon instead of going to Petco. And I didn't realize this is a huge container. Now, the other one I had was just a normal size Omega-1. So this is going to last for a very long time. This is actually one ounce. So this is a huge container, and I think this is going to last 
a lot longer than I think it's going to be. And let me see how much this was. This was... Um... Omega One food was five dollars and fifty nine cents, so that's a pretty good deal for this size um, container. And I only feed it for my white cloudfish, so it's going to last me for a very long time. So that is what that looks like. And then the ingredients in the back, and then here's everything else. So that is what that looks like. So that's exciting. So the next thing I have gotten is for the hermit crabs. And I'm very excited because I've been looking for some plants to put around the tank, especially on top of my cave that they absolutely love to go inside and climb on. And then I wanted a, another um, plant to put around, like on top of the stick or something like that. And so when I um, typed in plants for like reptile plants, these popped up and I thought these were pretty cool. Um, these have the, the little suction cup. And they're pretty long, and I think they're going to be perfect, and it's a really natural theme color. It's like a dark green and a light green, and I'm trying to go with a natural theme inside of the Hermitcraft tank, and that's what you should do. When you have a Hermitcraft tank, you should go all natural with everything that you can get. Even though the plants are not real plants, even if it looks like uh, fake plastic plants, you can still go away with that, and they absolutely love it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this so you guys can get a better look of what it looks like. Alright guys, I am back and I took it out of the plastic. And this is super um, soft. It's really, it's a perfect um, size and amount of leaves that will be able to just set on top of my cave. And for them to climb through or hide in, and I think it's pretty cool. And it's a good size, it's a really long um, plant. And like I said, it has like the little suction cup on the back of it. But it's like a natural light green and dark green. So that is what it looks like up close. So that's pretty cool. I absolutely love it. And I think they're going to like it too. Like I said, I ordered two of those. So that's the first one. And then this is the second one. So this is what it looks like. <clears throat> the price is for the aquarium. Plastic plants are... Um, I'm sorry... The reptile plants are $6.99 each, and I got two of those. So that is what those look like. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to the next box. This is an itty bitty box. So let's go ahead and take everything out to see what it is. And if you guys see Midnight through the video, she's just being very nosy. And she just figured out what everything is and that anything is for her. So let's go ahead. Oh, here's my other package of shells that I've ordered for the hermit crabs. So this is what they look like. This is the Florida Shells Gifts. Um, and then, oh, here's a website that you guys can go on to. So this is what the little shells look like. I got pretty much decent sized shells. There's four of them. You can get a four pack of shells, large shells for $5.99. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And these are pretty much very huge, and I think that one of my hermit cobs are going to love these. And then also, I think this will be good for when they get older and bigger. I think they'll be perfect for them. But this is a good size, especially this one. This is huge. But that is what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open these, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back and I took them out of the package. So this is what they look like. They gave me one large shell that's like a light, like a light brown color and it's very deep inside. I think this, this will be perfect for the Echidorans when they get bigger. And then they gave me the smaller version of that too. So that's pretty cool. And then they give me the other um, shell think this is probably going to be perfect for Minnie because she's kind of already in one of these but like a smaller version so I think she might go to one of these or one of these it depends on what she likes but this is like a darker it looks like a darker greenish brown color but it's very nice and it's very light too it's not heavy at all and then here's a smaller version of it but I think these will be perfect and I hope one of these shells that she'll go into or she'll go into one of the other shells too but that is what these look like, and like I said, they were um, 
$5.99 for four pack of shelves. So that's pretty cool. So if you guys are looking for um, really huge shelves for your Hermitcraft for the future, I think these would be perfect. I think these are good for them. And then Midnight's being nosy to check them out. You can't eat at midnight. Alright, so that is what those look like. So we're going to go ahead and put these on the side. And then I got two more packages to open to show you guys what I've gotten. Alright, so here is the next package. So let's go ahead and take this out. Alright, so the next thing is I have ordered a, another dish. And like I said, I have um, one dish that is for food. And I have two other dishes. One is for um, their water dish and then their salt water dish. So I wanted to find another dish that I could just put fruit and vegetables in. And then the other dish is going to be just for the regular Hermitcraft, um, Hermitcraft patch food that I get from Hermitcraftpatch.com. So I had picked this up on Amazon. I saw this. This is the kind of the smallest... Um, dish I can find. I was trying not to find a huge dish. I was trying to find something small. but And then it's, it's plastic, but it's really heavy and I think it'll be perfect just for fruit and vegetables. And it might last a little bit longer. But that is what that looks like. And this is it's actually a feeding dish or a water dish. So you can use it for either or. But I just want to use it for the fruit and vegetables. So that's what that looks like. And that was only $4.92. So that's not bad for $5. But that is what that looks like. Alright, moving on to the last item. Go ahead and grab this out. Alright, and here is the last item I have ordered. Alright, here it is. Alright, so the last item, I'm picking up another Hermit Crab shell. And when I saw this, I absolutely loved it. It's so pretty, and I just love the colors. It has like a silver and brown color, and it's a good size shell. I don't know if it's be big enough for Minnie. It might be for the other Hermit Crabs, but I absolutely love this. And if she goes into it, it would be so awesome, but I might be a little bit smaller than the other ones. But I think it's so cute and it's so pretty. So when I saw this on Amazon, I had to pick it up. And I thought it was just so pretty. And it's a natural um, shell. It's not painted or anything like that. But that's what that looks like. Let's see if I can take it out of the package and just show you guys a little closer up. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that is what that looks like. Look at that, you guys. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Very pretty. And then that's what the inside looks like. But that's what if that's what the shell looks like. And this one was a African South Africa turbo shell and this was six fifty. So it's not bad for one shell. I don't think so. But that is absolutely gorgeous. So they have a lot of shelves to pick through. So hopefully Minnie will find something that she likes and she not be too picky. I know Ecuadorans sometimes are picky about their shells, but hopefully she's not. But I absolutely love this. This is pretty. But that is what that looks like. Alright guys. Let's go ahead. Um, I'll gather everything up and show you guys one more time what I got. And I'll be right back. Alright guys. I am back. And this is everything that I have ordered on Amazon. For the hermit crabs. And also for the betta fish and white cloud fish. So here's one more glimpse of everything up close. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!